Um, we can maybe just have a summary of what happened over the last year, and then what we uh, want to focus for the next period, and um, if we have some questions, so yeah, we can have a look. Uh, so we've been through the migration of the wiki to the le to Mama 1.7. Uh, uh, we could make clean up in many spaces. We have implemented many features from Mama. Uh, had some discussion about the anti-spam. We now have a Git repository. We should very soon have a, a Git repository. What's your best wish soon, but so soon. <laughs> um, so all the files are available. And this one? This one is the problem? OK. You heard? Uh, I didn't know. Yes, you're right. Okay, so so it's about the BTS, the, the Git repository. Um, uh, cool. Thanks. Yeah, after dinner, I'll be working with Stephen Grant to um, get the the Git repository working on the server and possibly get it mirrored to Alioth um, automatically and setting up the bug stats thing as well probably. Okay, that's good news. Um, so we can more easily uh, implement new fe features of uh, Moama. Um, so we can, because it was, it's not easy for, I mean, many people, many contributors to the wiki are not uh, uh, Debian developers, like I am. And uh, it's useful to have access to the configuration files so can, people can, is it fine for you? Yeah, okay. Um, and people have access to the configuration file and maybe set up some stuff and make some tests. Uh, for instance, currently there's someone who is doing some translation to Spanish, and he want he's probably going to investi investigate some problem with uh, search engine. So uh, that can be useful. Also, uh, we'll come to that later. But if some people want to implement a style sheet for the new term, uh, that's useful to have. Uh, so, yes, lots of work on on the the on the, par on the settings of the wiki, which we have implemented many small features uh, of the wiki. Um, what we are, what the main task we have, which is pending, is basically the the license issue. Um, we have. Basically, few feedback for the for the request for comment we sent. Um, okay, should I summarize or what was the status or? Yeah. So, uh, out of all the pages of uh, the uh, Debian wiki, how many have a non-clear status regarding the license? I don't have figures regarding the number of pages which have a license. Uh, I know that Debian references, which is something like 15 pages, have license. Uh, Debian Edu have license. That's 100 pages. Uh, and for the remaining, we basically, we don't have licenses. Uh, uh, which makes that most of the wiki uh, don't have license. Come on. So uh, I'm not a uh, um, regular wiki user, 
But here uh, on editing, is there any uh, warning displayed to the user regarding the license? We haven't. Uh, it's an option we can be, which we can set up. Uh, so people, when they commit a, commit a change, they have a, a whichever text we want. When it's saying, um, typically, which we say, uh, read this license page. Uh, we haven't set it up yet because we have not chosen officially the license. Um, so for, for those on IRC, uh, you can check uh, the wiki page for which I, uh, the web page for which I send the link. It's a tool to measure. You probably know it. The to identify the page uh, which have license uh, issue. Uh, it's sorted by n the popularity of the page. Um, currently, the, the progress bar on the right of the part of the side of the page, it's only my own contribution and uh, some technical uh, modification. Uh, the URL is www.klabs. Dot be slash wiki dash stats. I'm ju just reposting it in case someone. I don't know if you have it. Um, okay, wait. Um, uh, so the idea was to, based on this list, uh, identify what, which was the main contributor of the c website, of the wiki, uh, and identify which page um, um, are really useful, which page we might want to uh, uh, duplicate at some stage, and we want to make sure we fix the license, and maybe for the page which are a very low page rank uh, um, if the license remain issue remain we maybe we can just drop it or at some point um, and in any stage with this tool we will know who committed with what so if some people come to us and say we don't want to license our, our stuff we'll be able to uh, actually remove those the, the contribution from the wiki if we want How you how do you um, evaluate the freeness column? Uh, the freeness is basically um, I take all the contribution of a page. Uh, for each contribution, I count basically the number of words which were added by this contribution. Um, and if the contribution was made by someone who has relicensed his uh, work, it's considered free. So maybe like for. Uh, Flash player page. I happen to have contributed 14% of the page. Oh, I assume it's me. So the idea was to get people to uh, just sign up on the wiki page and say, I will license my work. Uh, and also to put a, a banner on the, on the wiki and say, from now on, Every new contribution is made under a license foo, which is to be chosen. Um, regarding license, I've sent on the IRC, I've pointed a link to a, an email I sent a while ago. Has there been much feedback on the www list? about the license change? No, uh, it was really, so the, it, it was meant to be the first part and to get feedback from internal. Uh, I had, um, we had some discussion together, um, um, Paul and I, uh, um, maybe we can go to the thread mode or I don't know.
So, um, Andrew, uh, Andre Bobescu, I hope we say it this way, uh, pointed that there was a mistake in my email regarding um, a license. Uh, a feature of the license I've chosen, which was improperly uh, worded. Uh, and no, Samu, um, what about GPR? I can't remember exactly. Um, yeah, so basically he said that his own page was GPL, so um, it's not an issue. Um, my point of view was really that uh, it would be interesting to have a license which is al also used by some other wiki to be able to easily yeah. merge, from get, get share content, uh, um, and um, yeah, um, to oh, collaborate. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, uh, I've never replied to you uh, because at that moment, uh, I was not very available, but uh, I've completely read uh, your proposal. And uh, so I looked at my uh, old ERC logs. Um, so I think, um, well, for example, for there have been uh, huge efforts well, on release notes to, to get uh, approval of uh, contributors for uh, getting uh, the provided contents under under GPL. Mm. Uh, uh, so I am uh, one of uh, the web team. Uh, I don't have a clear uh, understanding on uh, on the license status on the website either. But I think that we shouldn't. Uh, mm, spend uh, so much effort in uh, deciding uh, uh, which is the uh, best suited li license because when if you move to a uh, two specific license uh, you will well as as soon as it is DFSG you will be able to move content from uh, from the website to the wiki or some other uh, maybe documentation but uh, that's why uh, maybe some specific licenses licenses you mentioned, I can't. Uh, some uh, I don't. I don't remember you. Uh, I remember that some of them uh, you you thought that uh, providing source source code was not necessary. That mm -hmm. I think that well, s most of the people will uh, just agree to provide content under the GPL. So unless. Uh, using GPL uh, brings some uh, constraints on the wiki. I think that, well, just go GPL. I, uh, maybe I have a naive, naive point of view, but uh, I don't know what, what, what your reaction to... So, um, ah, I'll talk about GPL, you talk about BSD. Uh, <laughs> um, the GPL enforces you to uh, um, distribute the, lice, the, the source code, and clearly, when you talk about uh, wiki page, the source there is a kind of source which is the wiki markup, mm -hmm. and I, I think it's an issue to having to distribute uh, the GPL license each time you distribute some documentation. Uh, the other thing is uh, the. To copy to distribute the source code with a with a page uh, along the content, and the other thing is uh, for GPL you have a license statement which is quite big. Um, but you, you you can just put a page somewhere on the wiki with the GPL. The problem is when you get some stuff, some some information outside from the wiki, and you put it somewhere else. Uh, you. You need to keep you to preserve the license, and you still have to apply the license. So that's one thing. I mean, that's different point of view. Well, for example, if you re if we try to compare with a package, uh, well, anyway, the the license is present at most of the C C five C two, but well, we. 
if we, if we want to make it easy to, dis to reuse the content of the license, and because the, the wiki is often used to contribute, to get people to contribute to any kind of file. Uh, for instance, for the release notes, uh, on the wiki page we have a, um, a page named New Eleni where anyone can just come and uh, put some information which are re later reused in the release notes. And there are some, um, some other examples. Uh, and um, that's probably a good time to th speak about PSD, which precisely would allow to reuse the content in, in any page uh, without problem. Uh, you want to say something about it? Um, I was quite interested in using CC Creative Commons uh, share like license uh, because Wikipedia is going to switch to has switched to this license and uh, Ubuntu is using uh, this license too. Uh, if we use a license which is more liberal than those wiki, it means they will be able to use our content, but we won't be able to get some of their content in our pages. Or, I mean, if we do it, we will have to keep those license. So it means over time we will have to keep track of, oh, this page is GPL, this page is um, Creative Commons share like, and this one is BSD, and we can share this one. We can move content from here to here, but not from here to there, and that can become a nightmare. Uh, Maybe we can send uh, a, a request. Oh, okay. So the proposal currently is really about share alike lessons. Uh, maybe we should. Do you think that we should re uh, re rewrite this uh, email in a more open way and ask the Debian developers what they think about it? I think. Um Using Debian project for some wider feedback might be a good idea. Um, see what they think about which license they, people would prefer in general. We have, uh, there was some figure in my emails actually, by the way. Um, if we group, um, on the overall, over there has been approximately 3,500 uh, contributors and um, 10 of them made based on my tools, which has some biases, uh, but more or less, uh, 10 contributors uh, provided 23% of the words, as I count them. So 70 con uh, contributors contributed 50% of the, uh, the, the content. About 450 uh, contributors contributed 80% of the wiki. The remaining contributors basically uh, have a problem. No, no. Uh, and then we have 2,000 contributors. Okay, so then we have 2,000 contributors which contributed 90% of the wiki, and the remaining contributors just basically contributed so few uh, content, something like less than 25 words, which means they don't really, I mean, it's not really a, a problem. Uh, it's some kind of, I think we can consider this is fair use of their contribution and. Uh. Another naive question. <laughs> <laughs> um, so since you have, uh, so, well, do you plan to contact every uh, wiki contributor using the registered uh, email address, if any, or do you do you you will plan to do it in a passive way, waiting for the next? Uh, well, do you fear uh, users to be uh, or harassed by uh, such an email, or I don't know? I think it's quite sensible to email everyone just to push it quicker. Um, you know, I don't think it's harassment to receive a one-time mail for relicensing the wiki content. Mm -hmm. I know the website people are going to have to do something similar mm -hmm. to contact everyone for their website license. Yeah, I think, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, if we get if we can get many contributors to just relicense our work, and yeah, we know we we have relicensed uh, quite an amount of, mm, and also the benefits is that we will have uh, told our users that our contributors that from now on their contribution is going to be under the new license. Um, so that's um, probably a, a nice way to go. Um, so for this, to summarize, maybe we get something more open, uh, uh, a proposal which is more open, and request for comment on uh, Debian project mailing list. And then we carry on, on by asking users to relicense their page, their contribution. Um, if needed, we, we will just remove the contribution as requested by users. Uh, just a few more stuff which will have to, a few more pages to, to be written about uh, precisely how we, what's the new license, um, and help people understand, but that's not a big issue. Um, I don't know which topic you want to, to discuss uh, during this. Both, I have a few on my own. Um, one thing I have started and I think would be interesting is um, generally to turn the wiki into a, a, a front page where it's really, which is really focused on getting people to contribute. Uh, Anyway, I mean, people don't, uh, uh, w maybe we can try to get some statistics, but I don't believe people come to the wiki and then use the built-in engine to say, uh, tell me about uh, how do I use this or what. Uh, I don't think people come to the front page and click on links and, and actually click on the links to navigate until, oh, uh, yeah, I have my wiki page about how uh, my Wi-Fi card is supported. I believe most people come through Google. Uh, so the front page is really more about uh, people who come to our website and say, oh, um, what's on this website? Uh, what, can, what, can, what kind of useful information can I find? Uh, and that's probably a good place to get people to contribute and have a, a, a minor place where uh, some place where just keeping up to date and say, oh, this is happening in Debian, this is happening on the wiki. Uh, I don't know what's your opinion on the front page, the current one, what you would lack in it. To be honest, I don't really visit the wiki front page at all. Um, I usually use the search to find stuff if I'm looking for something on the wiki. Mm. Yeah, me too. And I mean, having links uh, and organized front page where you can, you know, try to orient people to get to. But since we don't really have documentation, um, having this page as it is, which, I mean. By visiting this page, most users probably believe that they're going to find a lot of documentation on the wiki, whereas the documentation are more inside the package, and that's where we want people to contribute. And what we find in the wiki is more something like how-tos, and which again people find through Google, so um, maybe more, I don't, know. I don't know what you think about it. Especially, I mean, uh, if you're very involved in the website, who would you think to differentiate the two pages. So you mean uh, two pages uh, between the, the wiki one and the website one? Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, honestly, I don't really know. And mm. uh, the, I think the question on uh, which content is to be on the website, which content is to be uh, has to be on, uh, on the wiki is not uh, an easy question. And uh, what would be inter interesting is to have st some statistics about uh, uh, 
maybe some pages, some wiki pages that uh, are not are more or less stable in the time, with a high popularity. Maybe mm -hmm. some uh, some some such pages may have uh, their place on the website. I don't know. Uh, the wiki pages may be oh, as well seen as a way to, uh, uh, well, as a first place, as a first place uh, in order to stabilize the content of uh, documentation before uh, making it official. Well, that that I don't have a clear idea about or as. Mm this question but uh, well <laughs> yeah. you, know, well, maybe you, maybe you can guess that it's not clear for me uh, maybe it's something we can also post later on the BN project and say I think we, we maybe we can if we get a new uh, a new if the BN gets a new design for the website uh, we can try to coordinate and have a new not just a new design, but actually... Uh, well, even with without a, a new design, mm. uh, uh, I, I hope that, we <laughs> that will be <laughs> the case, but, uh, well, uh, we have to have a clear idea of which are the contents, which, uh, you already mentioned it, which contents are specific to Debian, because uh, we know that many of them are not specific to Debian. Uh, that's why uh, some people, uh, some Debian people, get documentation from uh, Ubuntu Wiki and uh, and the reverse as well. So, which content do you really want, uh, and has its place on a wiki, on a Debian wiki or website? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, uh, we should avoid uh, as much as possible. Uh, Rewriting documentation that already uh, maybe appears on uh, upstream project uh, pages. That's not uh, Debian. I, I think that's not the, the role of uh, Debian to uh, rewrite documentation when uh, uh, there is a specific documentation written by uh, maybe GNOME people or Linux wireless people and so on. Maybe identify such pages. Uh, keep only the Debian specific uh, part of it. Um, part of it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and uh, I see that for some static pages that are well, st copy of uh, static pages on the wiki. Mm. Uh, maybe even I don't know if it is implemented in wiki. I guess so. But even uh, uh, send an HTTP redirect or some uh, uh, reload uh, HTTP or JavaScript something to to tell the user such official information. Uh, the, the reference source for such a uh, documentation is the website. Mm. I, it's a bit random ideas. No, uh, it's, it's more or less yeah, what we try to do actually in, inside the wiki mm. is to have some kind of uh, placeholder so people just don't come again and again uh, with uh, a page about the Debian, Debian Lenny or what is Debian stable and get people just, yeah, the reference is uh, and there are still today some content which should be migrated, I think, to the website. Uh, it just needs someone to do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I think the, the wiki, there's one, one part of the wiki which is very interesting, uh, is the Debian Teams part which really is not accessible when people get to the front page. So that's probably the part of the wiki which should be the most uh, accessible and really um, uh, placed in a way so people really find it easily. Uh, and maybe at the risk of duplicating some existing content, having some, some, some page uh, to explain to contributors that uh, um, they can contribute to Debian easily. If they can contribute to Debian, it's easy. Uh, and maybe also tell them that, telling them that they shouldn't expect people to come and explain. They just have to come and actually do the job. Uh, if they want to contribute to the website or a package and come and do it.
uh, and then again you see the Teams page to explain them how to do it and yeah just here is a pointer to the resource to contribute to Debian and Perl group. I was thinking again about uh, having a clear status of which content is to be uh, published by Debian means, so either a website or a wiki, or maybe one day wide one unique site. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so I see that from the front page, uh, so pages are uh, some, somehow sorted by uh, if it is if it is, if it targets developers, uh, users, administrators, and so on. Uh, do you have a, a tree view of the wiki somewhere? No. Uh, short answer, no. <laughs> uh, basically, what what you see here is uh, really the top of the tree, and uh, um, it's not so structured in any way trying to stretch uh, the tree of uh, of the wiki looks like um, chasing a running target or something like that. And uh, uh, that maybe raise another question. Do you think that uh, uh, is a, a tree a structure still uh, up to date now that uh, all people uh, talk with uh, tags and so on? I don't know. Uh, I I I I wonder because um, I I know that for example in the website uh, some pages are maybe s sometimes duplicated because you get uh, installers for from Devil Debian installer sometimes you get it from uh, uh, slash distrib uh, do you do you uh, already uh, maybe uh, moved some pages because uh, because uh, the tree was not that clear in the wiki and uh, you noticed that 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 well d did you ever uh, move pages in order to have a clearer na namespace and uh, tree in the wiki and how do you do it usually the, the wiki is with, with People tend to create uh, just one name for the wiki and have a r rather flat uh, structure in the wiki. And when there are subdirectories or pseudo subdirectories, uh, it's really because it's inside. Uh, um, people really want to group together some stuff, like Debian installer or Debian Live have their own tree. Uh, and the problem is then to because it's flat, people tend to you know create a page with a name which strikes their mind. Uh. Uh, about the tags, one of the features of mine is categories. So for each page you can add X amount of categories and then each category has a web page that lists all the pages that are in that category. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's one thing we have that the website doesn't seem to have. Also, I can, yeah, there was some talk about, uh, I don't know if, we, if yeah, uh, for the front page, and I don't know who should be involved in this, but uh, to get, you know, uh, to have a, a new organization of the front page. Uh, deciding what we put on the front page is probably going to be a, a tricky game. Uh, that's, I had a draft somewhere uh, with few contribution. Um, we probably want to just keep keep it on the Debian www mailing list and see if people have ideas and 
and also on how to what's the message that we want to, to have on the front on the website front page and which message, which important topic we want to have on the wiki homepage. Some previous people uh, who submitted uh, website, uh, well, front page mockups already uh, spotted quite very well. So it's uh, get it, so download. Mm -hmm. You don't have to, to download, uh, contribute, um, documentation, and uh, about Debian maybe. I think. Maybe, uh, maybe yes. Maybe the for both uh, website uh, front page and wiki front page. Maybe there are already too too many information. Maybe. And, um, yeah, the website is is it has have it and even longer than life. And sorry, uh, I think the, the 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 life of the website is even. Even worse, I mean, yeah. The website, it's, it's 10 years old. Uh, the wiki is, what I say, website is probably 15 years old. And there's quite some stuff on it. What are those? You have some topics you want to discuss. We probably have something like ten minutes left. One thing I would like to discuss is uh, maybe increasing the size of the wiki admin team, because um, currently it's me and Helen um, Helix, who is not really doing anything. So, um, do you think any of the www people would be interested? Mm, so I can talk for me. <laughs> uh, well, basically we are. Well, I think we will be free in the, at least for in the deb, uh, www group. So there is Rhonda, Matt, and me. For I mean for the people that are most present. Mm. Well, I I don't know if if I will have the all the free time to to do all the, st the stuff I have to do, but mm -hmm. uh, I can join you, and I think it's better to well for for both of uh, team to have a, cl a better idea of uh, what the, how how does uh, the well the concurrent system works, and mm -hmm. so. It may, it can only improve uh, both of wiki and website to to merge a bit uh, the teams. So yes, I volunteer for that. Yeah, yeah Matt, I think uh, maybe I should document some some of the th setup on the server so that the www people would be able to help out more easily, and maybe a list of different tasks that we do all the time, like uh, blocking spammers and. Mm -hmm locking their IP addresses and deleting all the stuff that they leave behind. Mm -hmm. yeah. We can also probably try to get some people, the most active contributors to have a contribution, maybe larger than the topic of antivirus you currently have. Uh, we have some people who are very interested in translating, some people are very interested in uh, some specific hardware support. And um, did you speak to, was it Simon? Simon, no, I haven't. I uh, okay. wanted no. to, to do it with you. Mm. Okay, is he here at DevConf or? No, unfortunately, he, he couldn't come. Okay.
example, I was just on the actually on the the website to do list, and that let me think that part of the website may be uh, either may be better either completely auto automa uh, uh, automated or or maybe uh, uh, bring f bring uh, f uh, or or should use uh, the wiki a, 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 as input. For example, these are um, uh, pages about uh, Debian consultants. Okay, mm -hmm. so for the moment, that's a mail to a specific address, which is consultant at Debian dot org. Uh, people are, uh, well, uh, give some information about their activities, the name, and so on. And that's for the moment, it's still a, a manual copy passed into a WM dot uh, data file which is compiled on the website and so on. Uh, so either uh, for such, for example, for such uh, a use, I guess that uh, maybe, uh, I think that uh, a wiki page uh, may be better or maybe uh, uh, using a wiki template to force people to match uh, the data structures and uh, use this uh, wiki template mm -hmm. to, to automatically uh, uh, well, feed the website or something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I must admit that I am uh, quite a newbie in uh, in the wiki. So how to do template and so on? Or mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, you will uh, tell me how. <laughs> ah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's really. And the same way, or I think that such a page could be uh, well moved or even removed from the website. That's uh, Debian users uh, page. Well, uh, yeah, adding people manually maybe. It's, uh, it's the same. So I think um, a list of consultants is useful for Debian users, and that's one of the reasons why it's on the website is because people need support, and they, when they're willing to pay for it, they go to the website to find out where, where, which people they can go to for that. Oh, oh. My point is, you for as for other content, use the wiki only as an input uh, point, then uh, mm. use it, use uh, move it to the website uh, once we uh, are sure that it's correctly uh, structured, uh, and we have all the information. Yeah. Mm. That makes sense. Uh, what about internationaliz internationalization? Uh. So it has been discussed heavily uh, during the last uh, IT ITN uh, sessions. Uh, I guess <laughs> you can tell more about uh, about that than me. Mm. Uh, so we we're still having uh, some discussion. Yonas uh, Musgard. Uh, has, which is a Debian developer, has uh, um, a wiki based on IkiWiki, uh, in which he is using, who is managing the translation of the pages through PA, PO f um, files, PO system. Um, you know, as you know, it's probably interesting to have uh, formal translation to ensure consistency of the translated page. We have different needs and uh, Wikipedia, which really wants to have each language evolve, uh, to evolve its way. Uh, so that will also fix our problem, all the problems we have of uh, content negotiation, of broken links, of updating links. Uh, IkiWiki seems, I mean, I've investigated a bit uh, one year ago, and it really seems that all wiki seems to believe to to to, to work like uh, like Wikipedia. So, um, well, I think we just have to wait uh, until the next version of WikiWiki, which is supposed to to implement those tools.
Uh, and if some translators are really interested in uh, using a key wiki, we can we can have a look further if it if we can still have all the feature we want. So you're saying we might think about moving to IkiWiki for the wiki? Or I'm just saying that we should investigate if it actually handles uh, internationalization properly. And then maybe, yes, it would be sensible. It could be sensible. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, the reason why uh, we are a bit uh, conservative on Debian uh, www is that uh, uh, so most of wikis don't doesn't, don't have any uh, inter internationalization support as uh, the Debian website has. So, uh, and the other question uh, is uh, about uh, uh, putting uh, arbitrary. Uh, uh, using arbitrary output of scripts uh, to to put data on a, on a wiki or in a wiki wiki session. I don't have any idea how that that works or that may work, but that's uh, the point of uh, keeping our WML uh, setup. It's because we have tons of uh, Perl scripts that generates uh, uh, well uh, a resume of uh, uh, pages, uh, for example, that. Uh, uh, um, generates uh, some figures, uh, some tables, uh, well, ma many things. And so I think that uh, some uh, s s wiki feature can handle, uh, can replace uh, uh, some Perl scripts. I know that, for example, uh, well, for mirrors, for example, mm -hmm. uh, we we, dyna we dynamically uh, fetch uh, figures of the ar archive size. Uh, from uh, FTP master, and mm. uh, well, I just wonder how ca that can be handled uh, in the wiki. Do you do you uh, do you uh, have some dynamic, uh, well, kind of dynamic uh, uh, data uh, fetch in, well, fetch by the wiki or that currently no, uh, but. So some way to do it, for instance, um, I can't remember his name, S uh, but there's a wiki page uh, um, which is named something like Debian Topic or Debian Develop Topic, Debian Topic, I think, uh, which is automatic uh, updated yeah, by, an ex uh, by an external uh, topic page. Devil, yeah. ah. mm. So it's possible to push the data in and. The nice thing is do it this way is that uh, we can track history of this value of this page, and also we don't have to tweak the wiki to put to push some data inside. Uh, yes, but if the data change every six hours, uh, like the archive, you cannot <laughs> just keep the the history of. Uh and you don't want, and it's probably not worth. Mm. Uh, otherwise, most wiki have some macros which could implement. Uh, uh, dynamic data. Uh, with IkiWiki, you can implement plugins in Perl, so you can just have like a string saying "look up X," and the plugin will go and do whatever you want to do. Mm. This would be Great. quite. <laughs> I think it would be quite nice to to have. I mean, I if we consider the fact that at some point we might want to share wiki page with other distribution. It would be nice if the wiki, if there was some kind of way to say, uh, okay, in our wiki we are defining some variables. Actually, those kind of variables exist in one more. Uh, but we declare some variables which we then use in the wiki page. Uh, that could be used to replace Debian with MemPies, MyMo, or whatever, Ubuntu. Uh, that could be used to replace the, distribu the name of the distribution. It could be used to provide some figures like the one we were talking about. Mm. Mm. That's probably a long-term goal. Uh. Um, I think we're over. I'm not sure there's someone just after us, so we probably have a few minutes spare if we want.
uh, about the statistics of the wiki. Uh, so you have the page rank, but uh, does it give you something about uh, uh, okay hits? Okay, and that's uh, the number of hits uh, during uh, the wiki life or or the um, day? So uh, the page you are looking is a page about statistics. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the wiki don't hold uh, data for the whole for the whole life. The way uh, the statistics are generated, not on this page, uh, on the main wiki pages, is by uh, analyzing the log of the wiki. So inside the wiki, if you prom if you ask for the statistic of a page or of statistic or anything, it's going to analyze the current log. And so the one, the one one ones. Or the Apache logs? The one one logs. Mm. So basically we have one month. Uh, we probably want to rotate the logs every month, so uh, that's something we should do. <laughs> I have my script, which, yeah. At the moment we're not rotating the logs, so we probably should fix that at some point. So you have lots of history, but it takes ages to have your statistic. <laughs> uh, we you can... Hmm? Did you say you have a script to rotate the log? Yeah, I've, uh, uh, I haven't tested much but on in real life, but I've tested it with, uh, by simulating a growing, simulating growing, growing file. And then, because we can't just rotate the, the log, mm -hmm. because if we just rotate the log, as a, you only have history maybe like one week after. Mm -hmm. you, you lose your statistic if you just rotate the log. So what you want to do is something ugly, which you move the, 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 the log files and then just get half of it and put it temporarily and something like right. And you just wait, uh, you just wait uh, one week to, to get your statistics. I, well, that could be an option, but it's sometimes useful to have some statistic of a page. So yeah, I've written a script, a script to do an ugly mm. log rotation and it seems reliable. <laughs> <laughs> Log rotate is uh, is great as well. <laughs> yeah, but it. Um, so we have statistic. Uh, we maybe we could set up a statistic from a, a regular uh, stat. Maybe we could should have some regular statistics uh, engine by some regular st web stats uh, by mm. analyzing the Apache log. Mm. So. Um, currently, I don't think I have access to the Apache log, but maybe I can talk to DSA and get that changed. Or just ask, well, or we can ask them to implement, uh, to install AW stats, or mm. I don't know what they usually do. Um, I think AW Stats doesn't have a very good uh, history of yeah. security, <laughs> so it, probably uh, not good to use that. Yeah, it, it could be nice to have it public, but if we don't want, maybe we just don't have it public. And yeah. I'll, I'll ask Stephen Grant about it tonight, um, see what he says. Maybe they have some sort of standard thing. Do they have something for the website? No, yeah, we should as well. Mm. So we should, uh, well, uh, we don't have proper statistics about a website, and now that even the, we the website is uh, the website load is spread over uh, GeoDNS uh, and so on, uh, it's even harder to get uh, statistics. So, but I think that, for example, the, the same way that you identified in the wiki the very low page rank pages, we should do the same in the website so that we can get rid of maybe uh, hidden pages uh, or just pages that are maybe 10 years old and that have been never modified. For example, I remember that there is uh, some uh, slash distrib slash floppy. <laughs> 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 there is still an URL uh, uh, redirect in order to get to allow people to, to download the CD version. But, well, I, I think that keeping links uh, operational is a good thing, but yeah, that shouldn't make... Uh, Keeping the system alive uh, hard, harder, so yeah, and there's probably some obsolete content somewhere. Which mm -hmm. I mean, maybe the page says, "Hey, you can install Debian using floppies." Uh, oh, <laughs> can you? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay, so, so we have some statistics in the wiki about mainly uh, some about uh, for one single page how often it has been uh, visited over the last days, and another page about uh, the overall wiki, which are the most uh, where all the page visited are honked by number of visits. But it's very basic. It doesn't count the page which weren't visited. It doesn't give a clue about uh, the keyword that was used to reach the wiki. Um, we don't have statistic about... So we have to go to uh, Apache uh, <laughs> analysis uh, and... Yeah and, yeah, and we have all the history of uh, Apache. And, that's and that would allow as well to get the same uh, tool for both website and wiki. And yeah, so that's easier and to maintain. Uh, and easier to maintain and easier to compare as well, to, mm. to know if, uh, if maybe one of, uh, for the same content replicated on wiki and website, uh, which is uh, more famous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably him. The, 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 the statistics of the web of the wiki are actually not uh, not tremendous because it's really one page. Uh, um, the number of pages is not so high, and among all the page, we just usually keep the history if we we don't discard page uh, usually. So there are a few active page uh, out of the few thousand we have. Uh, yeah. And since DD is really make hard making sure everything works. We don't need her. We should not need wiki well, page. What do you uh, you, sp you spoke about uh, unactive pages that you don't uh, remove uh, as far as I understood. Uh, what do you do when if there are uh, some unactive pages contain just uh, crop information uh, oh. that maybe, uh, well, just gives uh, bad advices to, to users. Uh, we tend to kill bad advices, bad, bad advices or everything which is not, I mean, the way you would do it, the Debian way. Uh, any page which tries to document how to install manually something is usually considered yeah, it's not really the right to do it for Debian. And if you want to install it manually, upstream probably has some documentation on how to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know your feeling. Uh, but uh, how, how uh, practically, uh, uh, what what do you do? You 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 put a banner on top the, on top of the page which says uh, this is not the Debian uh, way. Uh, refer to page B. Or I don't know if you. I think we either just replace the content mm. or uh, delete the page or um, make, uh, put a notice up would work too. But yeah, one of those things. It really depends. If, I mean, sometimes it's the only way you can do it. Um, currently, there's one software, I uh, can't remember which one. I think it's VMware or something like that. Well, I mean, no, not VMware. Um, one package, one product which is not packaged for Debian, but still, uh, it can be useful and it's proprietary software. But it's so um, famous that okay. So do we don't document it at all and just let our user alone, or do we try to do something? So it's difficult sometimes to. But if it's packaged, I mean, it doesn't have to be. And we don't have to explain how to install it manually. It doesn't make sense. But usually, that's our policy. Eleven past ten, past uh, ten past eight, past, uh, ten past eight. Um, okay, so we try to focus on the finishing the licensing. Um, for the license, we ask the BN project for feedback. Uh, you're setting up the Git repository. Uh, um, 
By the way, for the Git, Git depot, uh, uh, well, since uh, Git is distributed, that that is still easy to get a contribution for the people. But why not uh, Alliot project? Yeah. Just a question like that. At, at the moment, there's a, a mirror of the Git repository on Collabmate. Mm -hmm. So y if you're a DD or a member okay. member of the project, you can just push to there and. Um, from the server or we can pull mm. and look at the changes and apply them if they're useful. Mm. Okay. Uh, we can get start. Go to the front page. Admin team. Okay, I'll send you know, a summary on the mailing list and we'll follow up. We can, if we can solve the license in the next few months, that would be great. Uh, the highest quality we can achieve on this, the better, but yeah, just still do it and have it fixed. Okay, well, thanks. I don't know if you had any actual comment. No. I know some people want to and just uh, watch. Don't hesitate to be part of the web team as well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right. Uh, it's true that well, I've seen the sent a few patches, but yeah, just just enough to be to say um, I have sent some patches. <laughs> For example, uh, well, we, I will not. Uh, I will finish very uh, fast, but. Uh, for example, uh, there are some uh, well, uh, well specific uh, wiki uh, layout, uh, CSS uh, layout for maybe a specific uh, paragraph to ma to tell that's running, and so on and so on. And uh, well, since uh, I I don't know if they, if it is uh, the ones provided by Momoan by default or if it, if they have been. Uh, Yes, it's a new feature in the latest uh, release of Mama. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because because uh, I think I if if we want to to have a more um, um, common uh, graphical uh, uh, view of the uh, graphical yeah. Uh, yeah. chart, uh, uh, no. Is it graphical chart? How you say in English? You know, when uh, inside a company where uh, if you want to have a consistent uh, Graphical identity, yeah. Identity, uh, yeah. Uh, well, that's maybe a good idea to copy past the CSS <laughs> from one one, or use uh, some uh, CSS uh, from one one to the website mm -hmm. in order to have maybe something more consistent. We, I think that's something when we will have to to implement the. the uh, the web, so the new CSS for a new term. I, I think, I really hope that we can choose a new term for the website, whichever, but just something nice and useful. Uh, and then, as, yes, uh, just maybe try to use the same features like uh, the warnings and stuff like that, which are, I think it's really a nice uh, features that, uh, that was added. Uh, if you're okay, I, I really f more feel like having these conversions of the uh, appearance and to get it pending until we have the CSS for the website. Mm -hmm. um, I'll probably work on this actually, on the CSS. See, I don't know who else is going to do it otherwise. Well, thank you. Okay, thanks. <laughs>